Hey, welcome back, agents, to another episode of Prime Tips. We're talking about Machina again. This time, we're talking about how to find them and what to do once you do find them. Do you want to nurture them or do you want to nuke them or a little of both? So we're going to look at the process that, that I use to find these things. And again, you got to keep in mind, I'm dealing with my phone, my operating system, you may find another way to do it that's better. This is just one way to do it. It might give you a clue on how to go about it. So we're going to look at some of the tools and then how to use them. So the tools, what do you need? Well, the first thing that I did is I looked at a couple different versions of IITC because I like to use IITC. And I chose to go with IITC mobile version because it offers a couple of things that the other ones didn't. Now, how do you get the mobile version? Well, what you do is go to IITC's website, which is IITC.me, and this is what you will see. And then you have, you can get a desktop, mobile, and test builds. Now, I'm thinking that you probably want to get this mobile because you're going to be in the field trying to get these things. So it does a much better job if you have it on your phone and you can see what you're doing right there. You could do the same thing with the desktop and printed sheets and things like that, but I just chose the mobile because that probably works best. And you want to use with one of the test builds. So click on test builds. And under test builds, this might change a little bit, but the present test build is 0.26.0.4015 and a whole bunch of other stuff. You download that and you can install it. The nice thing about running the test build is that if you have another version of IITC running on your phone, this will be totally separate. So we're going to be talking about putting in plugins and the plugins that you need to use to make this work. And it might be a lot of the plugins that you won't want to use otherwise, or you don't want other plugins running while you're doing this. So you kind of get one IITC that's just for finding Machina, and then the other one that you use for you as your quote unquote daily driver. So you can also at that point, if you go down a little bit, are the portals, I'm sorry, the plugins. So there's portal information and there's info and keys and there's all different types of categories. Um, there's a lot of great stuff there. I'll tell you which ones I decided to use. You might choose other ones. And again, you have to have the disclaimer that this isn't an official Niantic tool, but I've not heard of anyone ever having a problem with it. So get IITC, get the test build, get it on your computer, get it running, and then you need to get the plugins. Now, what plugins I'm using, one is under the layer plugin, layer uh, plugins. There's one called Show Configurable S2 Cells. Um, and that one you may have to get in another, another place. So I may put the link in the, the show notes for that. What that is, is that it will show you the S2 cells on the map. That makes it handy because you'll know when you get to the certain zoom that you should be seeing <clears throat> Machina portals or unclaimed portals show up. And also it kind of figured that, although we're not sure about it, that that shows you kind of the limits of where those might be. So that's really good at, at telling you what zoom level you need to be. Portal info, that's another user plugin that, that I would suggest you have. That shows you the linked portals and we'll see how that works so that you can see what portals are links and what portals are origins or the seed portal. And you can make your decision about do I want to take all these out or there's certain ones that I want to leave? And we'll talk about that in a second. The official plugins, uh, controls, I'd say you probably want the book maps for maps and portals. That way, when you find that one, por one portal that you decide this is the one I want to leave or this is the one I want to go to, you can bookmark it and then you can come back to it later. You can actually use IITC and have it give you maps directly there. Under info, portal list. We'll look at why that is because you can look at all of them. So if there's 20 of them, you can 
look and say, hey, here's the high-end one that I need to get. And portal info, linked portals. Um, and again, that'll show you the dotted lines um, between the two of them, dotted lines, which one's connected to which. And another one that's important is resin, reso energy and percentage in portal details. Because if it's down to 5%, that portal is probably on its way out. So those are the tools that you need. How do you go about using them? <clears throat> well, it depends on whether you're in an urban environment or rural environment, you know, how, what area are you looking for? Now I'm looking in a fairly rural environment. So I have to do a lot of car grassing, a lot of movement. So I have to determine what route I'm going to follow or what path I'm going to follow. If you are an urban ingressor, you know, you've just got a, a city, so you may not have to worry about that path. But if you're going on the road, Think about where you're going from point A to point B. Then look for towns or areas that may have a lot of neutral portals in that route. I'm even finding them in smaller towns. So it don't discount saying, well, that's a small town. It probably won't be there. I'm surprised that I'm finding it in parks in small towns, larger cities as well. But the big thing is a lot of neutral portals, especially if it's portals that have not had a lot of activity doesn't mean because there's activity there that they're not going to show up, but it just seems that they show up more often in areas that have a lot of neutral portals that don't have a lot of activity. Once you get into that town or whatever, you want to zoom until the S2 size 14 cell outlines appear. Now, by default, when you put that plug in, in it will have the size 14 cells set up as probably a green outline. Again, yours might differ. So you really don't have to mess with it too much. Now, I don't want to really get into S2 cells and what they are. Uh, they're used a lot for determining MU and mapping coordinates and things of that nature. But in this case, they're really handy to let you know, hey, you're in close enough. If you're not seeing any red portals, they're probably not there. Um, once you find that red portal or a cluster if you find a cluster you probably want to determine the origin portal or the seed portal or the anchor portal we're still kind of going around as to what terminology we want to use but one of those portals in that cluster was the first one and you probably want to identify that now it'll probably be the highest level portal and it will probably have a spray of links going out from it. Not always, because if someone has come through and taken out some, done, done some pruning or something like that, it may not have any links. And there might be other ones that are linked together that are not the highest one. So look for that highest level portal. And especially look for one that has all outgoing links. So if it has any incoming links and it's a Machina portal, that tells you that that portal popped up because of a spread. It was originated or created by another portal, which was the link in to create it. But if you find a portal that's only got outgoing links, chances are that's an origin portal or, or the seed portal or whatever you want to call it. That's the portal that started the whole spread. We'll talk about why that's important in a little bit. And then you'll probably want to bookmark that origin portal. Now, once you do this, you probably got about five hours that that will remain accurate for sure. Right now, we're thinking about every five hours from the anniversary time that that portal was created, the portals can take some sort of action. That means they could decay, they could spread, they could level up, they could charge. So all these things may happen about every five hours. Now it doesn't happen right on the cycle. So each Machina portal may have its own cycle, so to say. But you can be pretty sure that within 24 hours that those portals are going to do something. And this is my guess. I'm thinking it's more like 22 hours and I think it's 11 minutes, which is 1,331 minutes. But that's my theory. So Find out which ones you want, bookmark them, go on down the road, find the other ones. 
again, if you're in a environment where it's just a city, um, you know, you may only have one cluster that you're looking at. Then you need to make some decisions. Do you nuke them or do you nurture them? And some of this is kind of along the lines of lore and kind of along the lines of uh, your faction. Um, probably, not saying for sure, but probably if you are a resistance, you probably are leaning towards the nuke category. And nuke category means you just you, you kill everything. So you uh, builds up the stats that you have in the scanner. We'll look at those stats. So that's the payoff, that you're going to be building those stats. Now, what those stats are actually going to do, we're not sure yet. Probably, you know, there could be a badge. It, it, I don't, we don't know what that does. But it is keeping track of the things that you do with Machina portals. So far, as far as I have heard, that if you totally eradicate a cluster, you kill all of those Machina portals in that area, they don't return. Now we have seen them popping up again. So there's been like a generation one, generation two, generation three. So we haven't been seeing them pop up, but we don't think that they're popping up where they have been eradicated. Now I'm guessing down the road, if they continue to keep popping up, you know, as, as just a regular part of play, you're probably going to have a repeat. But if you take them all out, chances are they're all going to be gone. I eradicated a uh, cluster at a university last week. It's been a week. Haven't seen any pop up. I've seen some pop up in areas that didn't have them in my area. And I've seen some that were there and nobody touched and it decayed and went away. So the other thing that's there is you'll have nice clean lanes. You don't have to worry about... You know, is it going to block something? That is the one thing that you have to keep in mind with Machina portals. They block both enlightened and resistance links. They can cross our links. We cannot cross their links. So if it's you're looking at an operation and it's going to be going through a populated area, you might want to search for Machina portals and make sure that they're clean and gone before you start that. Now, the other side of that is the nurture card. And that's probably more of an enlightened thing that you want to embrace it. So how do you nurture these portals? How do you make them grow, so to say, or try to get them to grow? From what we're seeing is you probably want to do some pruning, just like a, a tree, apple tree and things like that, that if you leave it alone, it'll grow. But if you prune it, it will grow more robust. It will grow more shoots, more links so to say in this case so what you probably want to do is prune those child links to foster the growth of the origin or that middle portal if you're doing that and you're attacking those child links and you knock off a resonator or two on that origin portal as far as we can see those will come back they will grow back and if you take away the child links we also see that when the origin portal goes through its cycle, it will level up or link or both. We're not 100% sure. And usually it comes back more robust. Uh, but it's possible that pruning can kill a portal. So if you take them all out, it may not be able to recover. So we don't know exactly what the mechanism there is. But we do know that if you take some of those portals away, that they'll probably come back better. And it may not come back to the exact same ones that you pruned out. It may jump to other neutral portals. Now, it's not going to jump to an enlightened portal or resistance portal. It's still, That's still pretty sure that that's not happening. But if you're wanting it to grow, that's the way you can do it. Now, there's kind of the build between the two. You can prune it and then come back and nuke it again and nuke it again. So if it's in an area that you can frequent, uh, you might prune it and just kind of keep going back and you keep building the stats that way, depending upon how it grows back. If you find a portal that's at 5% charge, chances are that in the next cycle or two for that particular portal, it's probably going to decay. 
uh, when we see it in 10, 15, 20%, we see them go up and down. So they may gain in charge and then they may uh, send out links or they may go up and level. The charge may actually go up at that time. We're not sure of that mechanic or not, but we do kind of see uh, 5% usually means that's the end of that portal. So even if it's an origin portal and it's 5%, uh, you know, you might kill it. Um, but we talked about nuke and stats. What are the things that the scanner is keeping track of right now? Well, Machina portals destroyed, Machina resonators destroyed, which if you get them all and nothing's been kicked out, that should be eight times the number of, of links that you've destroyed. Um, and the portals neutralize. So the links and the portals neutralize should be very close. Uh, but again, you might find that lone Machina portal that's out there by itself and doesn't have any links and you kill it. So what do you do once you get them? It's kind of up to you. You can nurture it or you can nuke it. Now, how do you go about finding them? Well, let's take a look, shall we? I think I can do a live thing actually on my phone. So I'm gonna go ahead and start up ITC test build and I decided that we're going to look at if it's still there. Yeah, it's still there. Here's an example of a kind of a rarity an L8 Machina portal. So if I zoom in on it, you see that when I got to a certain point, I got the green bars that showed up. That's the S14 cells, S2 cells, S14 size. Uh, that are popping up and you, you notice that you at that point you saw all the uh, unclaimed or neutral portals pop up so when I look at that particular portal called the wagon wheel you can see that I'm pretty sure that this is the origin for a couple of reasons one is everything's coming out from that so they got a bunch of links coming out from it and if you actually look at the link itself you will see that it does tell you that there are 11 links out. Um, and you could probably keep track of that to see whether that's going up or down. But notice there was no links coming in. So that particular portal is more than likely the origin or the seed portal. Now you also notice that it has uh, portal pictures of the links, portals that it's linked to, and you have some distances so you can tell which ones that that particular portal was linked to so if you were going to wipe this one out if you're going to nuke this you could probably stand directly on that portal and throw some eight level eight bursters and since it doesn't take much to kill these you would probably get the other ones but this is a really good uh, candidate for nurturing for pruning and the reason I say that is if you if you look at it without anything around it there's quite a bit of distance between that center portal and all the, the ones out on the edge so you could go to the portals up near the top these here and take those out and be pretty sure that you wouldn't get splash damage on the origin portal. I mean, you could probably use something like L3 bursters, L2 bursters would probably be enough to to get that. And then you could go over to these ones on the left-hand side and get them. And again, leaving that center one there. The other thing that you can do is if you have one that is very, very close, so in particular this portal right here, which is really close to the origin portal, if I want to take that out, but I don't want to damage my origin portal, I can use some low-level um, Ultra Strikes and not charge them too hard, and that'll probably take them out. So there's one that you that I knew where it's at, and we kind of wanted to let you look at. In the top right, there's a little uh, icon that says, go to where you happen to be at. So I'm going to zoom in where I'm at. So... 
let's say that I'm headed towards St. Louis from where I'm at. So I'm basically heading west-southwest. So I'm going to look at, at cities along the way. Um, and I happen to know a route that I want to follow. So let's say that I go into the city called Vandalia. So I'm going to zoom into Vandalia, and I'm going to let it load. And you'll notice that I did not get my grid. I didn't get the S2 grid, so I don't see anything. So let's go in a little closer, and there I got the grid. So when you see the grid pop up, I'll back off, and I'll let it load. And now it's showing the portals. Now, I actually have uh, resistance and, and other portals turned off right now. Uh, oh, let's turn those back on. Let's turn on the resistance and enlighten portals so that you can kind of see. So you would see, you might see all of the other stuff. Okay. I chose to turn those off because I'm not really looking for that right now. It just makes it easier to, to say, hey, I'm not looking for that. And now I can just move that around and look throughout the city. Now, I've looked at this particular city, and I know that it doesn't have anything. So let's go south from there. Chauvenier. Vernon, Patoka. Again, I've looked at those little cities. And Sandoval. So let's take a look at Sandoval. And again, I got my grid, so I'm going to let it load and see if anything pops up in Sandoval. And nothing in Sandoval. So it's pretty quick that way. Let's get to somewhere where we know we're going to have something. Let's go into Centralia and Central City. So nothing really pops up. Oh, but I did get, all of a sudden it popped up. Now, the reason those popped up really quickly is there's a lot of them and there's links. So once you've got links and a lot of them, that's going to pop up rather quickly. Um, but if there was a lone one that's out there by itself, I may not see it if it's not linked. So if I get into the grid and that, it'll show me those. All right, let's go look at what we got here in Central City, or in, in Centralia. So we got a bunch of them in a park. And again, just looking at it, you can see that they all kind of go to this one portal right there. And so when I look at that portal, eight out, none in, uh, it's sitting at 10% charge. So chances are that's the origin portal. So that would be the portal, again, if I'm nurturing that I probably want to leave alone and I want to get all the other ones. But this one's a little bit different and you notice that that there's a link here that's not attached into this cluster. So there's actually two clusters here. Because all of these down here all eventually go back. Well, no, take it back. There's, there's three clusters here. Because this one here, he's not attached either. Okay, so I can click on that particular one and one in. So that's not the origin for that. I'm guessing that that guy is the origin two out. So that's, this is pretty weird. So we've got three clusters that are here. So here's an origin portal. It's at 20%, has two links out. So if I was doing... Um, pruning, I would leave that portal alone. Okay, And then we're pretty sure that this is an origin portal. And then I've got this up over the top here, so there's some links there. So we'll look at that guy just because I know he's going to show me one in. And then I look at the one above him, two out. So again, that's probably an origin portal. So I probably, again, if I'm nurturing I probably want to leave that one. So as I come back out of my map, my bookmark's going to stay, and then I can work my way on down the road. Okay, so uh, let's go on down the road. And so I got my grid. 
let it load. That one's clean. So you, you just kind of look at, at, at different little cities and see where you're at. I'm pretty sure, I think, I looked before, even this little city here. I think New Minden had one. Let it load. Nope. Well, again, you'd, you'd look at each one and you'd go through. So let's, here's an Air Force Base. So let's get in close to the Air Force Base. And again, I, I'm not in real close. So I'll let it load and see if there's any links. Oh, and there's links. But if I get in closer and get my S2 grid, I think there used to be another one in there. You just kind of have to let it load. But again, here we've got a cluster, and this cluster has changed since I last looked at it. Uh, so again, that one, he's probably the origin, six out, and it's a, le a level four. So again, that's probably my origin portal. And so I could take out all the other ones. Um, and, and here's, uh, I don't think it did it. Here's another one. This might be an origin. Five out, so there's another origin portal. So that's kind of how you find them. And then see whether that particular path takes you to where, it, to where you need to, to go. So that's one way to find them. Um, again, what you do with them after you find them, that's up to you. Uh, I'm one that I'm probably going to, if they're far enough away, I'm going to wipe them out completely uh, because I don't want them to be in my way. If they're close, I might nurture it and I might leave that origin portal so that it grows. We don't know all the answers yet, but you have a way to find them and you have a way to battle them. So I hope that I see you in the field sometime soon, maybe hunting those machina. So long, agents.